we have a lot of natural habitat here on this 10 acre square piece of very rural Florida that we call Pure Florida Headquarters or PFHQ. Um, we've got a mixed oak forest, we have piney areas, we have uh, open sandy areas where gopher tortoises live, we have a pond and at either end of the pond there are swampy areas. So it's a, it's a nice mix for just 10 acres. Um, I still like to tweak it with little micro projects, you know, to provide habitat like uh, bee houses and things like that. And most of the projects though involve adding a water source uh, in a place where normally there isn't one. Um, and recently I got to do that with a, a project that was really doing two things. I had a drainage issue where uh, a valley on the roof was channeling huge amounts of water down to uh, one particular spot in a very focused manner uh, with the uh, resulting, you know, this bad news for a foundation, obviously. So I wanted to get that water somewhere else. And so what I did was uh, install an old goldfish pond with some drainage connection down to the pond. And it's worked out really well. It's kind of matured and it's, it's got a little life of its own. So that's what this video is about. Pretty simple project. Might not apply to everybody, but it's just one more example of uh, if you build it, they will come. So I'm standing on the porch looking down at the garden pond that is actually a, a, a part of my drainage system. So the pond itself is uh, plumbed with a uh, corrugated black pipe that, that penetrates the pond wall and takes water to a green drain that needs to be cleaned out a little bit, right? There's leaves on it, but um, the, the, the flower bed here is sloped towards the sort of a center valley and that drains back to that drain also, but this pond catches a huge amount of water off the roof and uh, sends it into that drain and then underground going all the way down to the pond, which is way down there beyond, you can't really see it, but it's that way. Um, that corrugated pipe runs all the way down there and takes roof water down to the pond. So, so that's the drainage part. The screen is to keep uh, leaves and critters from um, being sucked down there uh, unwittingly. Mostly it's a leaf guard. We don't care if the minnows go down the pond, obviously. And so that's that. And you can see we've got a frog hanging out on there right now, like a leopard frog or a pickle frog. And if we look around a little bit, there's a larger frog, sort of a, either a pig frog or a bullfrog. And there was one over here also. He's kind of in the shadows. And the plant is a nacarus that's just all grown from a tiny sprig from the pet store. There are gambusia or mosquito fish inside the tank that keep it clean of uh, mosquito larvae. And so it's actually a good mosquito eradicator as a side effect too because they come in to lay their eggs in that quiet, calm water. And that's fine. That's what I want them to do because those, those fish are mosquito piranhas. They're going to wipe them out. Uh, over to the side. We have the escape ladder for lizards that might happen to, or the beetle or occasional other critter that might drop in there. Um, that was just to prevent that sad floating dead lizard that you might find in something like this if you didn't give them a way out. So there you go. It works and it's doing two duties. It's uh, making a little micro habitat and it's also sending that rainwater away from the house foundation and down to the pond.